Welcome to State of Tech. We're going to take a look at Memento for the iPhone. If we open up our application, it's going to log us in here. And right now it's asking us if we wanted to rate it in the App Store. We can do that or share it with our friends or go ahead and skip this. Now we're here in our timeline and what this is going to do is it shows us all of the days that we've actually posted something to one of our feeds. So if I tap on the 26th right here, I'll tap on there. And you see that I've posted a couple things via Instagram and then Twitter. And it's categorized these into one moment here on my timeline. Now I have some controls down here in the bottom where I can hit forward and backward to go skip days, backwards to go back days, forward to go ahead and go forward in days. So you see I'm on the 26th and if I hit the lower left hand corner it takes me back a day. And I can keep hitting that and keep going back days. Or I can go ahead and hit the right bottom right hand corner and go ahead and go forward days. Now once I reach a moment, if I'd like to share this, I'll tap the share button and you see that I can actually select any one of these moments to share. And once I found one, I like this one at Instagram, I'll tap share and then it's going to give me the option to share that. Now I can share it via messages, mail, Twitter, Facebook, Flickr, I can copy it or if I had AirDrop open on another device, I can beam that over to that other device. We'll go ahead and hit done and it's going to bring us out of the share options. If I go ahead and tap the button in the top right hand corner, it's going to allow me to create a new moment. It's going to ask me first to select the time. So right now we're at, at now. So if we tap now, it's going to bring us to today and the current time and date. But if we actually wanted to post this tomorrow, say at 3 o'clock, we'll go ahead and schedule this for 3 p.m. Slide down the time and now we'll hit done. Now we have the option to come in here and start adding a moment. Let's just go ahead and say we're taking a look at moment. Now that we've typed that in there, we can hit the contact button and we can actually tab to tag people. So we'll hit the plus button, use our contacts, and we can actually tag some of our contacts in there if we would like to. And if we hit the location button, we can actually use places based upon our four square and we can tag a place. If we hit this bookmark looking icon, we can actually tag an event. If we tag, we can even make our own custom tags and then we can even take a photo or we can use one from our camera library if we would like to. Here we have our albums. We'll go ahead and let access to our photos. And then we can choose one of our photos here in the library. Now that we're done, we can either discard our moment or hit save. Let's go ahead and hit save for now. And you see the moment's been added. And now we have tomorrow. You see now we come back out to our timeline. We have the 27th, which is a Friday. And you see it's going to be one moment that's going to go ahead and post there for us tomorrow. Now what we're going to do is hit the settings icon on the top left hand corner to open up our settings. Here we can manage our feeds, reminders, data, preferences, and then support. So our feeds are going to be all the networks that we want to associate with Memento. And we can add feeds and you see they're going to add them to our calendar and update our statuses. Now if we tap add feed, it's going to give us the option of adding a feed. And here we can see all the different networks that we can add. Tapping on one, say Facebook, for example, Facebook will use our built-in iOS Facebook settings. But if we were to select Twitter, you see we're asked to enter in our username and password and we can even follow Memento app on Twitter. This is going to work for any of these other ones. You see Flickr even uses our built-in iOS settings and Vimeo. We can enter in all of our username and everything like that. Now we have the option out in this feeds option to tap reorder where we can go ahead and reorder the priority of our feeds. Once we've done that, we'll hit done. And then we can even tap on any one of these connected feeds and change some options. You see right here on Facebook, we can include check-ins and we can even ignore some sources here. We can ignore Foursquare or Gowalla, being that those are check-in services that we have on our Facebook. We can tap on Twitter. You see we have options to import tweets, ignore tags, ignore sources, and we can even download previous tweets. In Instagram, we have some different options in here where we can disconnect or delete our account. And then Foursquare, we can disconnect or delete the feed as well. Coming back out into the settings, we have reminders where we can be reminded for what did we dream, a daily photo, how was our day. And then we can even tap edit in the top right hand corner to select one of these reminders and choose the time and also choose the tag. We also have some options to add reminders. So if we tap add reminder, we can give it a new message, time, a repeat, 
an action and even automatically add a tag to it. So we can type in any one of these fields and go ahead and change them however we would like to work that. And then once we're done that, that reminder will be added. And if it's enabled, you see with the green, that's going to remind us daily or whatever reminders or periods of time we've set up to go ahead and get this reminder. Now our data, if we come back out to here, we can use a backup and restore where we can back up all of our data to iTunes on our computer. And then if we needed to, we can even restore from our computer and then export the files as well. On our preferences, we can choose to add a passcode. We can choose when our days end, our moment sorting, week start, font size, sounds, and even photos. And you can go through these. We can turn the passcode on by sliding that on. And we're going to be asked to enter in a passcode. Our days end, we can choose the time when our day currently ends. Moment sorting, we can do earliest first or latest first. Week start, we can choose Monday, Sunday, or Saturday. Font size, we can choose from regular or large. We can turn sounds on or off. And with photos, we can save them to our camera roll if we would like to. Now coming back out into our main timeline, we have our calendar view as well where we can see all of the moments that are on our calendars. We can choose to swipe through each calendar. You see if we tap on a specific day, it brings up all the moments for that day. We can swipe through years if we wanted to, and we can keep going through months up here at the top. Now tags are going to be any tags that we've tagged our moments with. We'll see them in here, and if we go into a moment here, let's say for this one that we created, if we were to tap on it, tap on the edit, and now you see we can add tags, and if we were to add a tag here, it's going to show up in that list view. And then feeds again are going to be all the feeds that we have and we can tap on them and it's going to load that up for us and we can see a filtered view of just those specific feeds and then we can tap manage in the top right hand corner to go ahead and manage that feed right here in the Memento app. And that's how you use Memento for the iPhone.